Welcome, welcome everybody. I'm so excited to be with you today. Uh, today we're going to be drawing some oranges in Procreate and I'm gonna be showing you two ways that you can draw oranges. And you might be wondering why oranges? Uh, orange is actually the first prompt of this year's Making Art Every Day. Uh, if you don't know about making art every day, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna give you a little introduction about what it is. Um, so Making Art Every Day is a series of drawing prompts, tutorials, and a supportive community, all with the goal of helping you overcome your creative fears and establish a daily art making practice. So people join this challenge for all sorts of reasons, um, to improve their drawing skills, to learn how to use Procreate as a creative outlet, as a form of self-care, to overcome artist block, build up a portfolio, to be a part of a community, which is one of my favorite parts, um, or just to spend time doing something they love. Um, if you can give yourself the time to draw, I'll be here to help you get the most out of that time. So here's what you do. You go to, if you wanna sign up, you go to bardobrush.com and just sign up for my email newsletter. And every Sunday I send out the drawing prompts for the weeks, uh, for the week, with, including instructions and advice on how to approach the prompts, plus a little motivation. Um, <laughs> it's always important. Um, and then I also post the prompts to makingarteveryday.com, which I'll pop that up so you can take a look. Um, so this is the prompts page, and here I put all the prompts. So this is a short week. There's only three days, um, so we only have three prompts. But if you tap on any of the prompts, it'll go to a Google image search of reference photos, so you can look at that as you're creating your drawing. And you can do whatever you want um, using the prompt. You can do anything from a quick sketch to a highly detailed illustration. It's been so fun seeing all the different ways each artist interprets the prompts. Um, you can share your work to Instagram if you do that uh, using the hashtag making art every day or better yet, you can join our Facebook group. Let me pull that up too. So we have the Making Art Every Day Facebook group. It's the perfect place to share, get feedback, and connect with other people that are participating in making art every day. I'm always so impressed by how like supportive you guys are of, e in there, are of each other in there. Um, and you can see I'm just scrolling through and people are starting to post all their orange artwork. And it's just so, so fun seeing what everybody creates. And it's all different skill levels in here. And everybody is super supportive of each other. So don't feel intimidated, or if you do, just know you can come here and you're gonna find some people that are gonna encourage you. Um, and I, of course, will do my best to encourage you as well. So let's go back. So today, we start our third year of making art every day. And I've got some really, really fun stuff planned for you guys. Um, I'm, introducing, I'm introducing the element of skill building, which is where we're gonna focus on specific, developing specific skills like lighting and shading, perspective and other art fundamentals, animation, I'm really excited about that one, developing your style, how to make money with your art, um, and more. I've got some really fun prompts and themes planned for the year too. I'll be featuring artists work in new ways, maybe do some contests, and I'm starting a Patreon page this year. So look forward to that. And really, I've got some really, really exciting stuff planned for Patreon. So lots of cool stuff coming up. Um, if you want to learn more about making art every day, uh, you can learn more at bardobrush.com slash join MAE. It'll tell you all about it. Um, and then Jeff will drop a link in the comments about uh, where you can sign up for the email newsletter as well. All right, <laughs> let's draw you guys. Um, so today I wanted to show you, oops, there we go. Oh, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, let's draw. <laughs> so today I wanted to show you two ways to approach a prompt, uh, depending on how much time you wanna spend on it. So we're gonna start with a really simple piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Procreate and I'm going to start a new canvas. So with this little plus sign here. And if you're new to Procreate, you guys, I didn't mention this, but I have a brand new tutorial I just released um, called Procreate for Beginners, the ultimate introduction to Procreate. And it's pretty much a 35 minute class that you can follow along and will teach you all, everything that you really, really need to know to get started using Procreate. So that's on my YouTube channel and you can follow it, find it on my website as well. I put a link in the description for that. Um, okay, so we're gonna start a new canvas. So the size that I'm going to be using today is a size I use often. So I created a template for it and that's 3,800 by 2,800 pixels. It's a nice medium resolution size is what I call it. So let me go ahead and open that up. 
And then we'll give you guys a chance to get that going. Okay. Okay. So like I said, we're going to start off with a really simple illustration um, that shouldn't take you too much time. It's maybe a, an idea for something to do if you don't have a lot of time, but you want to do one of the prompts. So I'm going to start by choosing, I already have it here, nice orange color because we're going to just draw an orange. And also one more thing I want to show you guys too, is if you want to, this is kind of how I designed that prompts page to be. If you drag up from the bottom, you'll pull up your little dock and you can take Safari and pull it on the side here and resize it a bit. Oops, there we go. Resize it like that. And well, they're not there for some reason. I'll have to fix that. <laughs> but the prompts will be here and you can like tap on them and pull up, um, pull up your reference photos and have them off to the side. So I'll fix that, but that's usually how it works. So let me just get that out of the way. Okay, so I'm gonna be using built-in brushes that are already built in Procreate. So don't worry, um, you don't have to have any like special brushes that you purchased. You should be able to follow along um, with me today. Okay, so the brush that I'm going to start with is, let me see if I can find it. Nope. <laughs> no, I totally forgot what it was. Oh boy. Ah, here we go. It's in the drawing set and it's called Blackburn. We're gonna use that brush first. So it's a nice solid brush. Most solid kind of brushes will do a good job of what we're about to do. Um, and we're just gonna draw a circle. Boop. Like that and then color it in. Really easy. You can also adjust your brush size if you need to using this slider. And I'm actually gonna resize this orange and make it a little bit smaller. I like this brush because it has like a cool kind of textured edge to it. Um, I'm gonna tap the little arrow icon and just, just make it a little bit smaller because I know I'm gonna have some leaves and things like that. Okay. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of texture to this circle. So if I go to the layers menu, which is these two little squares, and you can either tap on the layer, pull up this menu and choose alpha lock. Or another thing you can do is take two fingers and swipe to the right. And you'll know it's on because there's like a little checkerboard pattern behind this preview. And then we're gonna get a different brush. And if you guys have questions as I'm doing this, uh, or if you need me to repeat something, go ahead and say something in the comments. And Jeff, my husband and awesome behind the, behind the scenes guy, will shout them out. <laughs> he's, he's always here doing our lives and he's amazing, so. Um, okay, so let's go into... Uh, the prompts are just, they're just not showing up for mobile. Yeah, yeah, website. that's what I figured is going on. I'll fix it, guys, I probably did something. I know what's wrong. I'll fix it. Um, okay. Where was I going to go? Organic. Okay. So we're going to go to the organic set now and we're going to choose this brush called clay. It's got, um, some nice texture to it, which will look really nice with our orange. And then we're going to choose a color, go to the color picker and just make our orange a little bit more red. I didn't really change the saturation or darkness of it, but just move this to make it a little bit more red. And then we're going to just lightly brush some texture over it like that, just to kind of make it look a little less flat. You can kind of make it a little bit more dense on one side, but we're not, I'm not really worrying about shading too much. I just kind of want to add a little bit of texture to it like that. Okay. All right. And now we're going to create a new layer and I'm going to put some kind of some line work over the top of it. So go back to the layers panel tap the plus and now a new layer will be created. We're going to go to the color picker and choose just black. So if you go all the way down here, you can choose something that's pretty close to black. And then we're gonna get another brush, which this one is in the calligraphy set and it's called chalk. So we're using the chalk brush next from calligraphy. Should this be a perfect circle right now? Nah, no, <laughs> that's a great question. You can create a perfect circle. There's actually a feature for that called quick shape where you draw it and then you don't lift your pencil up and then you put a finger down and it makes a perfect circle. But I don't, I like it to kind of be a little wonky. You can see all the texture and it's not perfect. So that's my preference. But if you want to be make it perfect, go for it. The um, other awesome thing is 
Today we're using all brushes built in to procreate. Yep, so you guys should all have all these brushes. You shouldn't need anything special for this drawing, for both of the drawings we're doing today, because we're, we're doing two. So now I'm just gonna draw some line work over the top of this. Um, I'm gonna draw a circle around it. I'm not making it perfect. Like I don't mind that it's kind of going off the side. I kind of like some of the white showing right there. Um, and then I'm just gonna draw a little, little dot for where the stem's going to attach. And what brush are you on right now? And then this one is called chalk and it's from the calligraphy set. Chalk. Chalk. Mm -hmm. And then I drew like a little stem and kind of filled in a tiny bit, not a lot. I, I like all that texture. I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to keep it loose here. And then I'm just gonna draw some little stems coming off so I can draw some leaves. Maybe one on that side. So I drew three little stems kind of coming off this side. And then I'm gonna draw some leaves. So leaves are kind of oval shapes with a point on the end like that. And then a line down the middle. Maybe I'll make it a little more, a little more curved to that line. There we go. And then some veins on the leaf. Kind of like that. This brush is kind of cool because if you, a lot of brushes are like this. If you press heavy, it's really dark, but if you press light, it's very thin. So you can get these nice lines where you kind of taper them at the end if you just kind of like flick. That's what I'm doing right there. Whoops. And let's draw another leaf. Kind of make it do that. That'll kind of make it look like it's kind of folding over a little bit on the side. Now, is all of the line art on one layer that you're doing right yeah, now? Yeah, I'm doing all the line work on one layer. So this, again, is a really simple drawing. One layer for the orange and one layer for the line work. And then another leaf. I don't know, something like that. The leaves are just kind of made up of wavy lines <laughs> that come to a point at the end. And then these kind of go at an angle like that. Oops. And then you have a nice little orange. And I'm actually not going to add any more color to this because it's, it's a stylistic choice. Um, you could, of course, come in and add more color to the leaves and the stem, but I think it looks kind of cool. And plus it makes it more simple. So if all you have time is for like, a 10 minute, 15 minute drawing, you could do something like this where you just do a lot of line work and then just like a little bit of color. You could do the line work first and then add the color. Um, I'm also gonna add a little slice of an orange over here, kind of next to it. So it's a line and then like a half circle. There we go, like that. And then I'll draw another half circle kind of in parallel to the first one. <laughs> Try that again. There we go. And then just some lines coming out like that for the sections. And that's it. <laughs> that's our first drawing. Super simple, but I think it looks really kind of fun and, and interesting and you don't really need to do a lot to make art every day. You can just do something simple like this and that's totally fine. Um, so I'm next going to show you guys. Wait, wait, wait. You mean we don't even have to do the, we don't have to color the leaves? You don't have to. Anything? I don't know. What do you, you like, hear in the, or sound out in the comments, you guys. I think this looks pretty cool as it is, but of course you can come back and you can add, you know, um, color to the leaves and you can, that's the beauty of this. Like you could make something very simple like this, or you could just, if you have more time, just keep going and keep adding to it and adding it to it. If you watch a lot of like, time-lapse videos of really complex art when as you're watching to it you're about like this went much through it and it looks kind of like a kindergartner drew it <laughs> but then they keep going and they keep going and they keep going and putting more time in it to, and 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 you can get that far with practice and time so it's totally up to you all right before we move on to our second drawing um i just want to make sure we don't have any questions and then we'll go ahead and get started we good uh, people were just asking, like, what size, what was the percentage size of the brushes that you were um, using? Right now for this chalk brush, it's at um, 18%. It depends on the canvas size you use. That percentage is going to be relative to that. Um, but I honestly don't ever pay attention to the percentages, just kind of like where it is in the slider and really just how it looks when I use it. If it's, I'm like, oh, it needs to be bigger then I'll make it bigger. So I'm just kind of eyeball that. That's how I do it. 
All right, so the next drawing we're gonna do is a little bit more involved. Um, but first, before we do that, I wanted to show you one more thing that we're introducing for Making Art Every Day this year, and that is our progress trackers. Um, this year, I'm introducing the element of goal setting. And so I've got these new prog progress trackers that you can download on my site for free. Um, they come as Procreate files, so you can keep track right in Procreate, and that's what I'm opening up now. Um, so in the past, a lot of people had, I heard this a lot and it always made me a little sad. Like they feel like they are falling behind or I need to get caught up with the prompts and, and like, I just wanted to let you guys know that that isn't what it's about. It's not about complete a prompt every day. It's about making art every day. So I created these goal trackers so that you can, um, set a goal for yourself. And what you do is you want to set a goal for every month. You want to draw for X amount of days. So they've got a little layer here for you to write on. So if you wanted to draw, let me make that smaller, 15 days this month, and you wanted to work on like 10 prompts in those 15 days, then you get to pick and choose which prompts you want to do. You can do the ones that just speak to you. You can spend more time on a drawing if you want to, and you don't have to feel the pressure to do a prompt every day. I really wanted to take that pressure off you guys because that's not what it's about. Um, and then every day that you draw, you can X off a little circle there. And then down here, when you finish a prompt, I actually made a fun little stamp for you guys that you can download on my website, this little happy star. Let's choose a fun color. Let's go blue or something. And you can just put a little star there for yourself, make it a little bigger every time you complete a prompt, but you can draw something in there or whatever you want to do, do a little hash mark. But I thought that was kind of fun. So I'm really excited about this and I'm hoping that will help you guys um, feel more comfortable and stay on with it. Because if you feel like you're falling behind and then you give up, no, nah, that's not what we want. We want you to feel motivated and keep going. So, all right, let's go on to the drawing now. And if you guys are having more questions, sorry, my iPad's a little slow today. Um, if you guys are having more questions about anything or something unrelated to this, we're going to do a big Q&A at the end. Um, so go ahead and throw your questions up and Jeff will write them down. There we go. Okay, so we're going to start a new canvas. I'm going to use the same size as before. So hit the plus. Again, the size is 3,800 by 2,800 pixels. So let's open that up. Okay, so again, we're gonna start with our oranges. I'm gonna choose an orange color. The more um, you go up to here on this little color disc, the more saturated it will be. So I like to make really saturated colors. So that's what I'm choosing for that. And then for the brush, we're gonna go back to the built-in brushes and we're gonna go to the inking set. And this brush is called Syrup. As far as built-in brushes go, I, I, I use this one a lot for um, just making basic shapes. It's like a nice smooth edges. It's got this streamline feature on it. So your lines get nice and smoothed out. Um, and then we're going to make the brush size a little bit bigger. And then we're just going to draw two kind of orange shapes. Let me make it a little, there we go. They're kind of like a little more squished oranges, kind of like I have some, these are mandarins here decorated for you guys. <laughs> and then we're going to take the color um, picker and then drag it into the shape and let go. And that will fill it in completely. Super easy. And you can come and smooth this out if you want. But again, I don't care if it's perfect. Okay, so that's the oranges. And um, we're gonna go ahead and create a new layer now. So go to layers and hit the plus. And then we're gonna go ahead and get a green color. So I'm here on the color circle, color ring, maybe a little greener than that, and a little bit darker. So something like that, that's where I'm at for my colors. Okay, and then we're gonna draw some, like a branch with some little, I don't know, <laughs> it's a branch. Um, so it's gonna go this way and kind of extend past and make it a little thicker, kind of like that. Kind of draw the edge of it here. Okay, and then a stem attaching to that one 
and a stem attaching to that one. And then we're gonna add some other stems that are gonna go, maybe one goes up like that, another one here. And then these, we're gonna draw some like flower buds here. So I'm just gonna draw that, okay? So there's where we're at now. And now I'm gonna draw the leaf shape. So I'm starting with all, I like to often start with a sketch, but here I'm just kind of going for it. Um, so I'm gonna draw all the flat shapes first, and then we're gonna come in and add texture and stuff. So we're gonna create another new layer. So go to layers and hit plus. And then we're gonna choose a, a warmer green, so kind of more towards yellow, a little bit lighter, something like that. Um, I just have to say thank you to She Meets City. You're way too kind for supporting us. Thank you. Uh, it means a lot to both of us. Um, yeah, wow. Okay. You have to fill <laughs> me in about that, Jeff. <laughs> well, Lisa, Lisa can't see, but it's just, you know, she she's just supporting us in Super Chat, so thank oh, you. Oh, thank you. That means a lot. Um, okay, <laughs> back to the drawing. Um, so I'm going to draw on some leaf shapes now. Uh, I'm going to draw on the end here, just that same kind of like leaf shape, pointy oval. And we'll draw one here. Like that. And maybe one. You can draw where they don't like attach. They could just attach directly to the stem. They don't have to attach to one of these little pieces that come off. Just kind of wherever like you think it needs some extra green. Maybe we'll do one right here. And oh, it looks pretty good. Maybe we'll do one more right here. Right here, I'm, I'm starting to run out of room here. So um, I'm actually gonna cha crop my canvas a little bit more because I wanna put another leaf there. So um, you, if you go to the actions menu, which is this little wrench, and then you go to canvas, crop and resize, then you can move it around. And it's a little bit easier than like moving all the layers around. So I'm just giving myself, and you can also like make it bigger if you need to have some extra room like that. So just a little tip. So let's add one more leaf here. And I think we'll be good. Cool, I like it. Ah, one more. <laughs> okay, no, no. You never know, it's hard to know when you're done, when you're drawing, but I think it's good. So the other thing that I'm gonna do, cause I want these leaves to be a little more pointy. They're kind of, the ends look a little funky. Um, I'm gonna go to my eraser, tap and hold, and that will choose whatever brush I had selected as my brush to use as the eraser. So it's gonna always match like the texture that I'm drawing with. And I'm just gonna erase to form nice little points there. I use this little trick often to get really nice pointed shapes. So that's a good tip for me to you. So you just kind of erase a little bit and you'll get a nice pointed point. <laughs> and what else? This one over here. Okay. Um, All right. I was just asking, how do I go back and find out what brush I used earlier on a piece? You know, that would be a really awesome feature for Procreate to implement. Um, but right now you don't. <laughs> you just kind of you can make notes on a pad of paper, which is literally what I did, so I remember like what um, <laughs> brushes I used to do this drawing for you guys. Um, but you know, you just kind of got to remember. Okay. So um, we're gonna start adding texture. There are a couple other things that I wanna add, like some flowers, but I'm gonna come back and do that in a minute. So let's go back to our orange layer. Um, we're actually going to turn on alpha lock on all the layers now. So you can tap it and choose alpha lock, or you can do the two finger swipe. Oops, I just turned off the layer, two finger swipe. So now I have alpha lock turned on on all three layers so I can go ahead and add some texture. Um, so I'm gonna start with the oranges. I'm gonna select this orange just by tapping and holding and that's how you can pull up the eyedropper. So that's, I can choose that orange and then I'm going to choose like a lighter version of it. So I'm just gonna go a little bit more towards yellow like that. And then to do the texture on this brush or on this orange, um, we're gonna go find the charcoal set and I'm gonna use the burnt tree brush. This one has a lot of fun texture too. Maybe I'll make the brush size a little bit bigger. 
And then I'm just gonna paint in, I'm gonna keep it mostly here, but uh, this is gonna be like the darker side of the orange. So I'm kind of painting in the texture of this lighter color uh, up on this side. Okay. And then I'm going to um, select that same orange again so that I can choose a darker version of it. And with war warm colors like orange, um, when you're going dark, you wanna go towards red instead of just adding black, because if you add black, it's gonna look really muddy. Um, so I usually just go towards red. And if you need to, you can add a little bit of black, but I can usually get the effect that I want using adding red and then just add a little bit. And I'm using a really light touch. If you draw really heavy, it's gonna be really dark like that. So I'm just kind of using a really light touch and just adding in some, you can go darker right on the edge like that. Just a little bit of texture. We're not going for like perfect shading or anything like that. Just kind of the impression that this side is lighter and this side is darker. So that's the texture on the oranges. Um, let's move on to the branch. So we're gonna go to the branch layer, layer two. I'm gonna select that color, the green. And then let's get a darker version of it. This time I am gonna go a little bit more into black and sometimes I add, make it a little cooler for my darker greens. Let's go, let's go pretty dark. And for this texture, there's this cool brush called Thylacine, I think it is. I think it's in the inking set. Uh, it's this brush called Thylacine. And I didn't mention this about alpha lock before, but the reason I'm using alpha lock is because when I draw, I can't draw over here. It'll keep it all perfectly in this shape I've already drawn. So that's what alpha lock does. And I'm just gonna draw some like lines like that. So kind of adds like a cool like texture. I don't know. We're not going for realism. This is like more uh, stylized. And I can make the brush smaller, maybe do these like that. There's some like overlapping going on there, but I'm not too worried about it. It's more expressive, I think. <laughs> and then I can add a little bit more down near the bottom to make it kind of darker on that side. Um, I just had to say another a huge thank you to Chelsea Horn. Again, you guys, um, you don't need to do any of what you guys have done in the super chat, but thank you. We love and appreciate all of your guys' support. That is so nice. We, we really, really appreciate it, you guys. Um, and real quick, can you show how to turn on Alpha Lock? Sorry. Yep. If you go to, um, you can do two ways. You can tap on the layer and choose Alpha Lock here in the menu, uh, or you can swipe with two fingers to the right. That's, I use, I do the gesture all the time. I don't really use the menu a lot because I turn on Alpha Lock on and off so often. Um, the gesture is super duper handy. And again, that makes it so you can only draw where you've already drawn. You can't draw anywhere else. So that's really good for maintaining control. Okay, so I'm just kind of... I'm sorry, which yeah. brush for the orange texture? Uh, the orange texture was Burnt Tree from the Charcoal set. And you guys can't see, but Lisa was just going over to her cheat sheet. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at my piece of paper that I wrote down everything on. <laughs> And then what brush, just so everyone else knows whether we're coming back into it, what brush are this we on? This one's now? called Thylacine. I think I pronounced it right. I, I don't know what that means, but that's what it's called. It's a cool brush. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm going to add a little bit of light green to this branch. So I'm going to select this base green. Like, I'll just get right in the middle there. And then go lighter. And when with my greens, when I do lighter greens, I usually go warmer. So I make it a little warmer and a little lighter. That's just kind of how I do. I do cool, dark greens and light, warm greens. That's just my preference. And that'll just give it a little bit more dimension, a little bit more interesting. There's like a lot of colors going. I think it looks pretty cool. So that's the branch. Um, and if you guys have questions, feel free to shout them out like Jeff's been doing. But I'm going to move on to the leaves. So we're gonna add uh, like veins to the leaves using a different brush. Let's go ahead and choose that now. The brush I'm going to use, I think it's in, yes, it's in the painting set and it's called dry brush. So it's at the very bottom of the painting set. It's called dry brush. And we're actually gonna use clipping masks to do the texture on the leaves instead of alpha lock. And it's basically the same as alpha lock, but it puts whatever you're drawing um, on a separate layer. And that'll be important 
because you'll see. <laughs> so let's go ahead and create a new layer. And we're going to set this layer to a clipping mask. So tap the layer and then tap clipping mask. And then you'll see like this little arrow, the layer kind of scooches over a bit. That means it's clipped to the layer below it. So whatever I draw on this layer, will you'll only see it if it's within the shape that's on this layer. So, oops, I gotta get a darker color so you can see. So see, it's only within that shape. And actually if I turn off clipping mask, all of that, those marks are there. They're just masked, they're hidden. So that's how clipping mouse works. I just wanted to read this to Lisa real quick. Uh, Courtney Alexander says, Lisa, you are so inspiring. You have been an artist. Uh, I have been, Courtney has been an artist her entire life and always mm -hmm. suffered from artist block. You have always helped me break out of that. Thank you Aww. so much for doing what you do. Gosh, you guys are gonna like make me cry. I'm trying to teach you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be over here in tears. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. I all of that really means so much to me. I'm 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 so bad at accepting like compliments and like nice words, but I'm really trying hard to be good at it. You guys can relate, but thank you, thank you. It means so much to me. Um, okay, so <laughs> where were we? Okay, so we're on the new layer, which is set to be a clipping mask. Uh, let's start with this green color here. We'll just select it, and then I'm going to choose a cooler darker green. Let me see how that looks. Maybe a little darker than that. I'm just testing out to see um, how it looks. A little darker, maybe a little bluer. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's start with this leaf here. I'm just going to zoom in so you can really see. So our veins, like you saw in that last drawing, they go like this and then they go like this. Um, so we're going to just do one direction at a time. This will make more sense in a minute. So all of them are going that way, okay? And then um, let's go ahead and we'll do that on all the layers. So you just kind of have to vid visualize the, the veins going one direction like that. Let me know if this doesn't make sense. It will make more sense in a minute. So I'm just making them go one direction. Like that. And then this one's gonna go this way. And I'm just doing like a swoop, swoop, swoop. Okay, so now it looks like that. And now, because it's on another layer, we can erase part of it away. That's the benefit of having it on another layer. If I had put it on the same layer using Alpha Lock, I couldn't erase it. I'd have to like paint part of it away, and it, which would be even more complicated with the next thing we're gonna do. So um, we still got our eraser set to syrup which we used last, so that's perfect for what we're gonna do. And we're just gonna go ahead and erase half of this. Okay, do you see that? Now we've just got the veins going in one direction. So we're gonna go to all the leaves and erase half of it. Like that. Okay, and this one. You can even make it a little curving if you want. And then this one's gonna be this way. Make sure you're doing the right side. If you erase the wrong side, then the, the lines are gonna be going the wrong way. They should be going like that. <laughs> that makes sense. And which brush are we using as the eraser right now? We're using Syrup from the inking set. Okay. And seriously, thank you guys all for being here. Like, yeah. Um, it's we're really happy to be here with you guys because we kind of knew that everyone needed this today. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure we, you know, we didn't get to go out and celebrate New Year's the way we normally do. Um, and that's kind of what, you know, all this drawing this year has been about. It's kind of like, take your mind off. <laughs> all the craziness that that has been going on so yeah. i'm happy to be here with it's great for me it's great for you <laughs> it's great for everybody us, you guys. yeah i mean what's crazy there's almost a thousand of you guys live right now with us on That's instagram awesome. facebook all wow. of you guys on youtube like thank you thank guys you. thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts <laughs> All right, so we're gonna add another layer to do the veins that go the other way. So go ahead and tap the plus sign to create a new layer. 
And this one will be a clipping mask as well. So tap it and tap clipping mask. And if clipping masks are on top of each other like this, they're always gonna clip to the same layer. So you can like stack a bunch of clipping masks um, but if you were to put something in between, then that would clip to that layer. So make sure they're stacked like that. And then um, I'm gonna choose like a slightly different green. Maybe, maybe we'll try something lighter. I'm going off of my plan, see how that, that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna go even a little bit lighter than that. So I, I did like a really, really limey, almost yellowy green lighter like that. So that's the color that I'm choosing now. Um, okay, so we're just gonna make them go the other way now. Like that. Ta -da. And we'll do this one. And real quick, Alan Dodson was just saying, I've only been using Procreate for about a year, but your videos and emails have always helped me to improve my skill and understanding of the app. Thanks for doing such a good job. Uh, thank you, Alan, seriously. Aww. Thanks. Gosh, you guys, I didn't know that this was going to turn into like a Lisa. Well, I love Lisa Fest. <laughs> it's making me a little uncomfortable, but I appreciate it. <laughs> um, and the texture for the leaf, that, that is the... Yeah, leaf we're brush. still using dry brush. We haven't changed. Awesome. Okay. Mercedes. Yeah. And then um, we're going to go ahead and choose the eraser and then just erase away half, just like before. And it's okay like that it overlaps a little or it's not perfect. I don't like I'm a perfectionist, you guys, and I'm really like, I love embracing imperfection in drawing a lot. Like that's actually why I got into using Procreate. I used to try and do illustrations in like, um, like Illustrator where you do it in vectors and it's all like perfect and stuff. Um, but I really love the hand done as like um, quality of working in Procreate because you're doing it literally with your hands. So don't have to be perfect. There we go, and last one here. So we're just erasing half, leaving a little bit of overlap. I mean, if you don't, even if you don't leave some overlap, that kind of looks cool too. So either way. Ta-da! Oh, those leaves look cool. I like it. <laughs> okay, so we got some texture on our leaves, the branches. Now we're gonna add some flowers. So some little like orange blossoms. So we're gonna create a new layer. And we're going to go ahead and get like, uh, let me go kind of towards yellow here. And so this is like a very light yellow with like a teensy bit of black. You can get a really good idea of your color by going over here to value. And you can see exactly like this is the hue we've chosen. It has about that much saturation of the color that it is. And then like a little bit of black. So... That's what I did. And then we're gonna go back to the um, brushes and choose the inking set. And we're gonna go back to our Faithful Syrup brush again. And now we're just gonna draw in some fun little blossoms. Um, and as you're doing this, just so you know, Lisa, your 10 year old niece is following along right now too. Oh, okay. hey Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Sammy. <laughs> Oh, all right. So we're going to draw just some like little flower shapes. Uh, I think I'm doing like six petals. So I just kind of like make it's hard to see because it's so light, but it's just like a little petal like that. And let's do one maybe here. You can just kind of put these wherever you think they look good. Oh, make it a bit thicker. There we go. And maybe, actually I'm gonna move this one. I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller. I kind of made them pretty big. It's hard when you're zoomed in, you don't get a real idea of like how big everything actually is. So I'll put that one there. And I'll make this one a teeny bit smaller. That's what's great about Procreate is you can just like adjust whatever you want. And since you're putting everything on separate layers, it makes it really easy to, to do that, to change everything up. Let's say we do one here. Actually, I'm gonna move it here. One more, right there. 
yeah, it's not like real, like it's probably not where it would actually grow uh, on, on the branch, but it's where I like it to be. So, and then down here, we're going to draw some little like buds, little blossom buds like that. A little bit bigger. Okay. And now we're going to add some detail to the flowers. Um, so we're going to go to uh, the layer and we're going to turn on alpha lock with a two finger swipe. Just now, are like that. all the blossoms on in the layer? Where, yep. where were we at with layers? Yep. So we've blossoms. got our oranges, our branch, our leaves with the two clipping masks for all the veins. And then we have the blossoms on their own layer. And we're going to use alpha lock now on that new layer. And I'm actually going to adjust the color of these a little bit so they stand out a tiny bit more. So if you ever find that like the color isn't exactly what you want, uh, instead of like finding a different color here and like recoloring everything, I like to use the hue saturation adjust, uh, brightness adjustment. So this little magic wand icon, hue saturation brightness, and then go to layer and that will change everything on the whole layer. Um, so if I wanted them to be just like a tiny bit darker like that, just super subtle, uh, I can do that here. Cause I'm gonna be adding some lighter detail work to it. So that's a way that you can always do it. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna choose like even lighter kind of yellow, not quite going all the way to white, but pretty close. Uh, and then we're gonna choose a different brush. Um, let's go to the sketching set. Sketching, and then we're gonna use 6B pencil. So 6B pencil from sketching. And we're just gonna like add in some lines like that. That's why I kind of darkened the, the color since I'm gonna be adding in these lighter details here. So I'm just drawing some lines. Kind of, they kind of curve in a little bit, but like that. I don't know, maybe I did make these too dark, but I can always adjust it later. And that one there. Okay. All right, we've got our blossoms colored in, and then I'm also gonna add in some darker lines. So I'm gonna get like a, let me see how that looks, a little bit darker than that. There we go. So. I'm gonna get a little bit smaller brush size and then just kind of add in some more lines just to give it some texture. So that's what I did there. And I'll do the other two. And here. And then the last thing I'm going to add, actually, I'm gonna make them a little bit lighter. <laughs> so I'm going back to hue, saturation, brightness, and I'm just, there we go. They're just a little bit lighter, okay. <laughs> and now the last thing that I'm gonna add is a little like, kind of, they have that circle thing in the middle. If I had the reference photos up, you could probably see what like an orange blossom looks like. That's why it's really helpful to have reference photos to um, just know, even if you're not drawing the exact reference photo, you might know that like, oh, an orange blossom has like a little thing in the middle. <laughs> uh, of course, I'm doing a more like abstract kind of version. So let's see, something like that, like a little circle in the middle. There we go. Okay. So we got our blossoms done, except for these little buds. And the only thing I'm gonna do to these little buds is add some leaves, like, you know, it's like popping out of the leaves. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna create a new layer for that. So go ahead and tap plus. We've got uh, a new layer on top of everything else. And I'm going to choose this color we've been using for the branch. So I'm just gonna sample that, kind of like that middle color. And then just do like a slightly, lighter, warmer version of that. Okay, so that's what I've done there. Slightly lighter, warmer version of that. I'm gonna go back to the inking set and choose that syrup brush again. 
And then I'm just gonna, oops, that's too big. Let's make the brush size smaller. And just draw like a little kind of thing like that. So kind of two lines over it and then make them into kind of leaf shape. Um, huge thank you to Tristan Barnum. Um, she said, thanks for making the past year full of art for me. So glad I got my iPad because of your tutorials and prompts. Uh, it has literally been life changing. Um, so yeah, thank you. Thank you for thanks. being on this crazy <laughs> journey with us because we're all learning together. <laughs> yeah. Not just you guys. Yeah, this is like, it's the third year of doing making art every day. And I have learned so much from the first year. Like, um, I, I compare my journey with like putting this, this like prompts thing on for you guys as to what you're doing by following it. Like it's been a learning experience for me and there's times I wanted to give up and it's like been so much work and it's overwhelming, but you know, I just keep with it and, and keep going. Cause I know like how much it means to all you guys. And that gives me a lot of fulfillment too. So, um, yeah, thank you guys. It's, it's been a journey and we're, I'm excited about this year. Like I feel... I feel like it's gonna be good. I mean, it's always good, but I feel like it's gonna be better than last year. <laughs> In many ways. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no joke, we have wanted to quit a few times. Yeah. Many, many a times. Like, it's not just you guys who have that feeling of like, I'm just done with this right now. We have been there as well. Yep, yep. But you persist and you do it and you learn a lot and I've learned a ton, a ton, a ton, so. Um, okay, so last little thing is we, I want to add like a little nub where the stem connects to the orange. Um, so I just sampled this color and I'm going to just, and I'm on that same layer that I used to draw the leaves over the buds. So it's going to be perfect for this. And I'm just going to draw like a little kind of gumdrop shape like that. So it just looks like it's like connected to something, not just hanging out there. You could, I mean, you could add texture to these or you could just leave them. It's up to you. Um, and then maybe one more thing. We'll go back to the orange and the layers with the orange. So the very first layer, I'm gonna sample this darker orange, red orange kind of color. I'm just gonna add a little bit of texture around this. So what did I use? I think it was charcoal, burnt tree, the burnt tree brush that we were using to add the texture before in the charcoal set. I'm just gonna like, just add a little bit there. Just give it a little definition. It's not, realistic but it's like the impression that like that part is indented you know like kind of like that is you could come back and you could add little lines you could add more detail you could keep going with this to make it whatever you want it to be um or you can just have it like that so I do want to do one more thing though before we wrap up and I want to add like a little background to this so I'm actually going to edit my canvas again so actions menu canvas crop and resize and just kind of make sure I have enough room for this. If you feel like you need more space, this is what's great about this feature. Okay, just give it a little bit more space and centered it up a bit. And now I'm gonna create another layer. So tap the plus and I'm gonna move this layer behind everything else. So tap, hold and drag it down. That's how you can move layers around. Tap, hold and drag it wherever you want it to be. So this one is underneath everything else. And for the color, I'm gonna choose like a very light, kind of right in the middle of like, I don't know, bright blue. <laughs> this is the color right there, right there. That's the color, maybe a little bit brighter like that. And for the last brush, let's see. We're gonna go to the painting set and let's try the oriental brush. I think that's the one I use. I didn't write it down, so oriental brush. And while you're pulling up this oriental brush, what was that, was that the texture for the blossom? What was the texture for the blossom? Uh, all we did was use the 6B pencil from the sketching set and we added some lines. So I didn't add texture like I did with the others, um, but I did add some lines, so that's what I did there. Okay, so for the background, we're using this. I'm gonna go brush size a little smaller. It's like just, and I'm just gonna like paint in like a loose little, I kind of like these edges where you can see like the paint marks. 
So I'm just gonna kind of go around behind it like that. Maybe just erase a little bit. Oops, that was not what I meant to do. Tap and hold, you choose the same brush as the eraser. There we go. Just however much you wanna do. You can have to cover up the whole thing. You have some parts sticking off the edge. I think that looks kind of cool too. Um, and then you can adjust the color if you want. You could you could play around with different colors. Like I really love oranges on a pink background like that. Um, so that's fun to play around with it. I'm gonna make it a little less saturated, a little brighter. I don't know. It's fun to kind of play around with colors and try different things. So, but I'm pretty happy with that. So there's the final orange illustration. Um, I think it's fun and happy and hopefully good juju for the new year. <laughs> um, I, I'm feeling quite optimistic about the new year. I hope you guys are too. I mean, the, the bar is pretty low from 2020. So. <laughs> um, so I can take a few questions if you have any about this, but we're going to do a big Q&A if you have things that are just about making art every day or about art in general or whatever you want. We'll do a big Q&A once we wrap up. Um, so you can stick around for that. Do we have any questions about this drawing, Jeff, that have already come through or are we okay? And one last time, what was the last brush that we used? Yeah, good question. That was or Oriental Brush from the painting set. And it has some nice, like, it's like kind of wet. It's really cool. It's a cool brush. Okay. And then which was the brush for the orange? Uh, the texture on the orange was Burnt Tree from the charcoal set. And which brush for the blue? Uh, that was the one I just said, the oriental brush. Okay. Yeah. All right, let me skip back over to here. So I love seeing what you guys create from um, my tutorials or, you know, with my brushes or whatever. Um, so please, if you do share, uh, tag hashtag Bardo brush. I also made a hashtag. Oh, you know what? Look at that. I wanted you guys to do this and I totally forgot. Hold on. Back it up. I want you guys to sign your work. So you can create another layer for this or you can put it on one of the top layers and just get like a dark color. And let's go to the sketching set. Oops, sketching, I'm using the 6B pencil. Any brush will work for whatever you want to use for sign in. And then sign your work down there at the bottom. That's my little signature. But I think that's, it's nice to sign your work, especially when you worked really hard on it, you're proud of it. So don't forget to do that. <laughs> okay, back to here. So please, if you're sharing, um, use the hashtag Bardo Brush, and I have a special hashtag that's just for this tutorial, um, so we can see all the stuff from this tutorial at once, and you can go and browse other people's stuff and see what other people are doing. So that's BB Oranges, BB Oranges. So Bardo Brush and BB Oranges. And then of course, uh, if you're participating in making art every day and you're sharing your work from that, don't forget to use the hashtag making art every day. Um, I cannot wait to see what everybody creates this year and all the stuff that we're going to learn together. Uh, we're going to be revisiting some of our like popular tutorial series like Character Camp where we join, or learned how to draw characters, People Skills where we learned how to draw people. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. So again, I am Lisa Bardo. I'm the owner of Bardo Brush. I make awesome brushes for Procreate and I do a lot of tutorials using my brushes too. So you can know how to use them and be inspired and stuff. Um, so if you want to check those out, you can find my website, bardobrush.com. And of course, making art every day is the big thing that we're doing right now. So I'm really excited about it. Uh, thank you so much for joining me.